Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vosk of the Voscoin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to talk to you about Luck Pool. If you check out my video I posted yesterday on the channel, if you're viewing this video later, you'll just have to put in highest send cash profit. I'm sure that'll bring it up because it's the first couple keywords in that title. But this is a uh, mining pool comparison between Supernova, Luck Pool, and Mine Zone. I actually have a previous uh, mining pool comparison which you can check out by just searching Zen Pool, and it's what is the best Zen Cash mining pool. Where I put Supernova against the Zen Mine against Mining Speed. Mining Speed uh, actually went down, so I put in a Luck Pool just kind of for fun because I had the third rig already there ready to go. But if you're here for Luck Pool, then uh, let's talk about Luck Pool. So first, let's kick it off. What is Luck Pool? What can it do? First, it's hosted, created, ran by Hellcats. Awesome guy in the community. And as far as I understand, he's the one who created the open source Xenop uh, pool software, which is actually what all of these Equihash mining pools run off as far as I know. And you can see Luck Pool is developed and maintained by Hellcats. You can click here, take you over to his GitHub. Obviously, the dude's knowledgeable and involved in the community. It's a very good thing to see. So as far as the pool, it's an anonymous mining pool, pretty standard. Proportional shares, pretty standard. Low fee, that is a low fee, that's good to see. And what makes Luck Pool cool and different is the miner's jackpot. What is the miner's jackpot? So if you're mining hush, you get one hush per block found by your miner. And then Komodo 0.24, one Zek for one Zcash block, but as far as I know, no one's really mining Zcash on Luck Pool, unfortunately. Flypool dominates that market. One Z Classic block per Z Classic, and then one Zen per Zen Cash block. So, like, what exactly does that mean? Well, on my actual Zen Cash mining rig here that I have on Luck Pool right now, I haven't found a block recently. But when you do, it's when your miner is the actual one to solve the block. And, you know, it's all tracked and you can verify everything like that. Let's see if I go down through my payments. Okay, well, I haven't gotten one recently at all, so I can't show you. But it says, like, when somewhere around here it says win that means that your miner won like it won the miners jackpot which means that you solved the block and so this would for example be 1.132 instead of 0.132 because you get the bonus unit of currency which in this case would be zen again luck pool has a lot of options and they actually just added two new coins if you guys are familiar with Bitcoin Z, I'm not very familiar with it honestly so I'm not going to speak on it too much but it's a new coin with every new coin, it could have promise or it could be another shit coin. So Bitcoin Z here is a live joinable pool on Luck Pool. You can see it's very new, hard to track, you know, kind of what its rating is. But with a uh, network hash rate of that, that's very interesting. Someone big believes in this. So we'll see what happens with all that stuff. But you can see Luck Pool is kind of hovering around 50 to 100K. And that's certainly... A decent amount of hash rate to get some blocks and definitely make some revenue with it. So next up for new things added to Luck Pool would be VoteCoin. Again, I haven't studied up on VoteCoin too much, but if you're interested, look into it, check it out. It's a newer coin. It's Equihash Mineable, which I'm all for more Equihash coins. I mean, hell yeah. That's what my farm is geared for. And I mean, I couldn't be happy to see more and more Equihash coins coming out. And the fact that he's added these two new coins recently kind of reassures me that he will definitely be adding bitcoin gold when it comes out a lot of controversy on that honestly i'm stoked for bitcoin gold because it's equihash and uh you know that's my kind of party furthermore you know we've got hush here pretty big uh hash rate for a hush pool most of them are pretty small aside from supernova which actually has it listed as i think z dash on there and you know the network for four megasoles a second Come over here to Komodo. As you can see, um, not too much going on with Komodo. It's not a very profitable coin to mine, unfortunately. I'm, a, I'm actually a, a big supporter of Komodo. I think it's going to do great things. But if you want Komodo, you're better off mining something else and just trading into it because the mining reward system is just not set up well. Again, over here in Zcash, nothing really going on. Somebody just shooting in the dark over here. Good luck, guys. I don't know if you'll ever find a, find a block. Let's check it out. Zen Cash block history 19 days ago. All right. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's what poverty sounds like. Next up, you know, we have Z Classic. Not much going on there, but, you know, you can't always have every pool completely loaded. Again, you know, what are the other features of the pool? 
connections is really easy. Click over here. I'm just connected under GPU slash 3057. You know, copy and paste. You have EWBF, copy and paste. You have uh, Claymore, Zcash, easy. OptiMiner, easy. Granted, I haven't used OptiMiner or really Claymore Zcash much, so I'm not the most knowledgeable there, but I do use EWBF in all my uh, miners. So if you click over here to blocks, you can see, you know, who's mined what, how long it took, break down everything like that. Blocks mined, last 12 hours total. Good, uh, good stats to see. You know, pretty reassuring and pretty transparent. I mean, a lot of pools are not this transparent, and if they are, it's much harder to access. I mean, anybody could click blocks and end up over here. Plus, you got the pending pools here. And again, this is how you see if, you know, I'm going to double check your miner was the one. I mean, you see the blocks found, and they're being attributed to someone. They're not just disappearing, which is, again, good to see. You want to be notified. This supports push notifications. And I was told, I haven't done it yet, um, but if you open this in the browser, like on your phone, I think he said, stated it was on his iPhone, might work on Android too, I don't know. But put this in your browser and enable notifications and you'll get pinged on your phone. You know, it's as good as it's going to get as far as notifications for this stuff. I mean, there's no app, there's no email service set up like with Flypool. So again, you know, I'd like to see that improved a little bit, but it's not at a bad spot right now. Other than that, there's really not much else to it. If you click over to Lobby, you can see that he's got a uh, getter set up. And, uh, oh, wow, that's uh, that's my video. It's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, um, you can click over here and see. I mean, this is pretty active. This is 2 a.m. It's 10 a.m. over here right now. And, you know, up to 3 a.m. he's commenting. You can scroll back and scroll back. I, I got to give it up to Hellcats. I mean, the the guy is important. He's he's doing a lot for the community. So again, hats off to him. And I'm a big supporter of him and his projects, really, as you can tell. But you know, not for any kickback or anything like that. Just because it's clear that he's motivated for the right reasons. All right. So let's get back to the pool. Let's talk profits because that is the most important thing when it comes to pools. Because well they're all the same and didn't matter you'd probably just pick whatever and that's cool so in the last 24 hours 0.8752 zen with 0.2 pending so over a zen and let's go over to my baseline consistently in the last day we've uh, mined 0.8 now let's also come over here and check our pending balance so both of these numbers combined would be the equivalent of the pending balance on uh, luck pool so that comes out to about 0.14 again Double check my math. I skipped a lot of class, as you guys know. But 0.14 plus uh, 0.8 here basically comes out to, you guessed it, 0.94. And that's less than luck pool today. So with everything, your mileage may vary. And if all things were considered equal and luck pool has the opportunity to give you the bonus zen and supernova doesn't, this would be the better pool to choose. So as of right now today, off the last 24 hours only, this would be the best pool to choose, in my opinion. However, if you check out my pool review, you'll see that ultimately the findings were a little bit different. So again, your mileage may vary. Everything changes its crypto. Come on, guys, you know that. Other than that, luck pools, you know, pretty standard. You get a nice little dash here. You get an average and you get your total hash rate with your miners. And when you have multiple miners connected, they're going to pop up. Like I would have a name here, like this is my miner number 22 and this is my miner 21. And I'd be able to click them like a bubble like this. And I could take them on and off the chart. So if I just wanted to see one of my miners, I could knock off all the other bubbles and it would give me a readout kind of like this. Which is cool because then you can diagnose things a little bit better or see you know, really just what's going on. Why is this one performing a little bit better than that one? Maybe your card's down. Some kind of issue. This is a good pool ran by a good guy. And you can see it's changing and evolving. And progress is what everything's all about. So, of course, naturally, I'd recommend this pool. I'd also recommend checking out my other two uh, recent pool comparisons to give you a little more insight and just in depth and also compared to the other pools. But overall, I think Luck Pool is a very good pool, and I would not hesitate to recommend it. Maybe you should try your luck at Luck Pool.